embrace challenges, to be involved with the Cricket World Cup, to help bring the piece to fruition is a real privilege for a, a manufacturer. The team that we've got is a spectacular group of artists, but they need to feel their blood pumping. Talking about the World Cup here, the pressure is on to deliver something that's a world-class piece. It was well designed in the mid-90s by a gentleman named Paul Marsden. Paul thought about it very carefully and put together all the elements of cricket to create the cup. The piece weighs about 11 kilos. Its height is 650 millimetres tall. Quite often you always start with 2D drawings, like drawings that have been done by hand, sketches, that sort of thing. It's always a starting point. And then any sort of um, computer-aided parts are always an addition to that. My uncle always asks me every time I see him, how am I getting on, what am I up to this time? He loves his cricket, so he's really impressed. Manufacturing is incredibly difficult and you have to have an inbuilt depth to create these pieces. None of the components you can buy. These sections are fabricated by hand as a blacksmith would make it. It's a challenging piece to make and um, there's lots of uh, hammering, uh, the, the stumps that come up the sides, but that's all, first of all it's spun and then you have to sort of swage it down, uh, basically making the metal skinnier. My job is to make this a mirrored finish. It slowly gets there from being a, a rough bit of metal to um, something that looks incredible. You can't see any dust on it, you can't see any scratches on it. It has to be perfect. Then we rinse it all and put it into our silver plating tank and we apply power for it and the silver attaches itself to it. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Annealing means that we soften the piece, we take the tension out of the metal. It will then be soldered together with the other half of the sphere and the globe is complete. I started in 65, so near on 50 years. It's been my life, <laughs> and a passion too. My wife says, I don't think you'll ever retire fully. It's all done freehand first, drawn, then scribed, and then cut. I've got a selection of cutters here that um, I use for different uh, projects. Some of these handles uh, are probably 200 years old, maybe. It's in you, it's in your hands. If I'm whistling at the bench, I know I'm doing it okay. The skipper getting us into a World Cup final. That moment when you, you've won, looking back now, they're the, the special moments of your, of your life. Just an incredible feeling, you know, the, the Holy Grail, the pinnacle of, of one day international cricket. Australia have won the World Cup. There is a moment when the cup is lifted where there's a huge intake of breath. Well, in 2003, I actually woke up with it. <laughs> it, was, it was in my bed with me and my wife. Hard to express what I feel today. I've waited for 22 years, so surely the, the proudest day of my life. We're really proud to be able to win in your own backyard in front of your family and friends. It's a wonderful achievement. To have the Cricket World Cup in our workshop being made, being presented next year on our own turf, it's a magical moment.